Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin, and today I'm going to share with you a theme of music on banknotes. Now, a small disclaimer, music on banknotes can be musical notes, musical instruments, or something to do with music. This theme could probably be divided into several sub-themes as well, and who knows, someday it might very well be. But today, let's get going on um, a show of a group of notes that have music as a theme on the banknote. The first note I'm sharing for you, with you is a... Slovenia, and it is a 200 <laughs> Tolerev. And you can see here the, you know, the uh, the music they have on the back side of this note. There's the front side of the note. Lovely musical theme. The next note that I'm going to share with you is from Azerbaijan. And I like this note because it has musical instruments, it has musical notes, uh, it has a grain clef on the back, and here you can see a treble clef as part of an optical variable ink device. The other side of the note is a much more basic um, um, map of the nation. Lovely note. Oh look, we have another Azerbaijani note. This one's a little bit earlier, but you can kind of see they stuck with the theme. So on this side of the note, it looks very Azerbaijani, but on the back of the note, you have musical instruments. Kind of nice. We're going to move from there to a 500 something from, or Syrian pound from Syria. I'm not sure how I got some of these notes because I was pretty sure there was an embargo on them, but who knows? I think this is an opera house in um, Damascus. And on this side of the note, you actually have a really old band playing some water uh based bells or some dishes over here they're not cooking it's a mosaic and they're actually uh banging on the instrument so they might form a form of early bells and perhaps this is some early sheet music <laughs> we're going to move from there to um good lord what is this this is a 500 ting and it is from oh i should know the name of this i struggle i struggle it's a kazakhstani 500 ting and it's a very uh ornate almost busy design that you can see on this bank note and it's hard to see here but let me see if i turn it up right if it's a little bit more obvious that there is some sheet music right there i have some friends that are excellent pianists and i thought someday it might be fun to sit there and film them playing some of our bank notes <laughs> wouldn't that be interesting i might give uh, those of us here in the u.s some um, an interesting facet in our bank notes and I know you're going to be happy about this. It's the final um, Azerbaijani um, manat that I have here. This is kind of a, in between of the other two notes. This side has a map and it has some graphics that kind of make it look like a euro in a way. And on this side you have several treble clefs and musical instruments that form most of the design on this side. I wonder if that the guy who designed the euro didn't design those as well. Hmm. We're going to go to Africa for this 100 Escudos, and this is a Cape Verde, or a Cabo Verde. And over here you have a stringed instrument, I guess similar to a guitar, but instead of played with a, you know, a plucker, and you know, um, it's actually played with a bow, and in this case it's not like a violin bow, it actually looks a lot like a bow. This side of the note... Uh, has a volcano, so it's kind of a nice note. I love the red of this note. This note is an extremely musical note, and one thing I've always loved about Brazil is when they go into a theme, they go in all of the way. And this guy here on the note is Carlos Gomez, and you can see kind of parts of this outline that look like musical notes or look like, you know, the keys of like a air instrument. But if you look over here, you got a little harp design, over here, you have an offset register that is actually a tuning fork. Isn't that insane? But the reason I love this note is because of the grand piano you see on the side of the note. And there's a portrait or a statue of Gomez right there. It's a very lovely, lovely bang note. We're going to go to Armenia next. And here's a 50 dram. And um, the person on this note... Oh, goodness, I couldn't even tell you his name because it is written in Armenian. <laughs> but, you know, it has to be musical related or on first blush, I might not have put it here in this note. And it may be, um, it may be music, it may be classical, it may be oral. But over here on this side, we have some ballet dancers and we have some musical notes right here playing music. 
definitely one that I would enjoy doing a deep dive on. Let's move over to West Germany or Germany for this 20 Deutsch banknote. Not too terribly impressed with uh, the headdress that was fashionable at the time of whoever this is on this note, but I like the cursive use and I love how Germany has um, gone with the uh, lathe work on their notes. And on this side of the note, you have a lovely view of a violin, a bow, and um, some sort of reed instrument. Wouldn't it be funny if it was a violin, a bow, and then an oboe? Although I know that's not an oboe, that's probably more like a... Well, I don't know. I, As far as I am in music, it's listening mostly, but I do play the, a bit of the piano, so forgive me that. We're going to move from there to a Serbian 50 dinara. And this note has a keyboard right there that's morphing. And then we have a violin and a fretwork right there. So I imagine this gentleman is some sort of musician. And on this side of the note, that's enhance because there he is repeated um, and there's um, musical notes above and below him what song I want to leave it to my piano playing friend we'll figure it out lovely Romanian 50,000 Lee next not only does it have a lovely flower it would have fit nicely in that theme but we have musical notes here on this side and a musician right there on that side and his name is George Enescu and several of you might be going like oh yeah he's a musician of course that doesn't help me in the slightest but here we have a bass clef with some sheet notes or some with some uh, music here so we have some sheet music right there I assume that that's an opera house but uh, you know what happens when you make an ass assumption? <laughs> it's not always the best thing to do. This is a 500 uh, pound from Bulgaria. And over here is an air instrument. Kind of made me think of a baritone. Um, I'm sure this is some sort of musician. And as far as uh, what else is left on the front of the note, if you look up here, there's like lots of little combinations of... Um, treble clefs and notes just mixed up all together right here almost like uh, a form of um you know fine writing only instead of words it's with music microprint with music instead of words <laughs> sometimes i think i should shoot these videos but i don't do a good job of that either this side is some sort of i'm assuming opera house but these look like, I thought these might be doves, but if these are doves, these are the craziest looking doves I've ever seen. They almost look more like seagulls to me. But, you know, I am not a bird person, unless it's KFC and unless it's supper time. So let's move on with the final note I have in this category that would literally have thousands of notes in them. And I certainly hope you guys will subscribe and add to the list. But here we have a 5,000 rupiah. Of Indonesia and inside this little bag here we have a stringed instrument and I don't know if this is a lap instrument or if it's held played by the fingers or some sort of contraption I've seen similar instruments whenever I lived in Korea this side of the note uh, has very little to do with music if you ask me but it has the calderas of several extinct volcanoes with lakes that from my understanding are actually in these colors of green blue and red there's a lot more to music notes than just the few I had in this video, and I want you guys to add to that list. I am Benjamin. This is Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.